what is up guys, I do hope you're well. And we're back with more Entitled Parents. If you are new here, please consider hitting that like, that subscribe button, and maybe, just maybe, even the notification bell. Only if you enjoy the content, of course. <laughs> As it was said yesterday, there seemed to be like an overwhelming positivity for the new editing style, so I think we will continue going down this route because I really enjoyed doing it and made it a bit more interesting for myself as well. So, with that being said, let's get straight into it. EM tries to fire my dad from his own restaurant. First of all, English is not my primary language. Some context here, my parents owned a restaurant that closed like 14 years ago. It was a small business, but being on a busy road, it gets a good number of customers. It's important that you know that the restaurant worked with the orders. You go to the counter, take an order, and you can sit at a table. And then your food is ready, you get up and take your food. And then you can either stay or eat your food somewhere else. If you eat somewhere else, you have to pay when you pick up your food. The food you could buy there was like breakfast food, ice cream, pancakes. For the staff, there was my mum, my dad, and sometimes other employees. Because of this really small number of workers, my parents had all the roles possible with the manager one. They cooked, they served, they took orders. So it was summer, my parents with two cookers were the only staff members in the restaurant this day. The restaurant was very full at this moment, and then, it's a monster. It's a devil. No, it's Karen with a, I want to speak to the manager haircut, and three kids of like five to seven year olds. Already at the start, she didn't look like a nice person, but boy oh boy, she's even worse than I thought when my parents were telling me this story. When she arrived, she ordered enough food for a complete buffet, choosing extra food here and there. Then, they go at their table. Haven't ordered a lot of food, it took a long time before they can eat something. But when their food arrived, they ate like one fifth of what they ordered, my dad said. But when the time to pay arrived, that's when it all begins. Time to meet the cast. Dad, an intimidating guy, but it was actually very nice. Mum, not so intimidating, but very smart. EM, entitled mother. Me, wait, I wasn't even born. <laughs> so my dad came to their table with his book where all the orders are written. Then he announced it. So lady, it'll cost you $101.35. Will you pay by credit card or cash? $101? Yes, ma'am. Will you pay by card or credit? I won't pay that much. Sorry, but you need to. I know the owner, so you should give me discounts at least. Sorry, but we can't do that. I want to speak to your manager, someone with more authority than you. My dad then turned around to go to the kitchen and then came back and says, I'm the manager and I will ask you to pay immediately. EM huffs and pays before leaving by screaming, I will get you all fired. It would already be a good story of entitled parents, but too classic. Too classic for me to post it. You know what that means? It's not finished yet. <laughs> the next day, she came again, but this time with a random guy that nobody in the staff knows, not even my parents. My mum came to talk to them. Hello, can I help you? I'm here with the owner and he wants to speak to your manager. Yep, she said that. So we have another person that I call F.O. for fake owner. Sorry, I think I misunderstood you. What did you say? I am the owner and I want to speak to the manager. My mum, very confused, goes and finds my dad. She again thought she misunderstood the lady. Hi, do you have any pro- I'm here now with the owner. Yeah, I'm the owner and I will fire you for being rude with my friend. Yep, they did that. They really did that. EM came with a fake owner and tried to fire my dad. Uh, is this a sort of joke? No, absolutely not. Did you hear? You are fired. <laughs> you got me. Now this isn't funny anymore. No, it's real. Now go away from my property. Sorry, but you can't fire me. Yes, I can. Are you sure? Yes, I can. Question yourself, because I am the owner. Their mouths were about to hit the ground when he said that. They were so confident and then... Paff shut their mouth path <laughs> they tried to run as quick as possible but my dad quickly grabbed them by the shirt to pull them inside now my mum dad and the co-owner that came after my dad called him a long conversation about how that's illegal and they just wanted a caution of 300 dollars after that they quit it as quick as possible there's several points that's just so annoying with this story the fact that the woman went in there obviously with a bunch of kids and bought loads of food surely she saw the prices before I mean, what 
the hell? You don't buy, you don't order a load of food and then not pay for it. I mean, you know what the prices are before because it's going to be clearly marked behind the, the till or whatever or in the book or something. And then the fact that they come back next day with something and pretended to be the owner, like they're, they're ever, ever going to get away with that. <laughs> and the bloke being so confident in himself with it. It's absolutely crazy. EP tries to leave her kids with me, then tries to run me over when I say no. This is my second or third post on Reddit, and after an altercation with CB, I never thought I'd have another story to post. But here we are again. Seeing as I have no idea how things go here, I'm sorry in advance if I format any of this incorrectly. I have two kids that absolutely love hanging out with all kids of every age in our area. So needless to say, I have always a full yard of children on any given day. I never mind that though, as I'd rather have them outside playing instead of inside on their video games. Since this is an every single day thing, I always make sure I have water bottles and snacks for any kids that show up, since I don't want my kids to eat or drink in front of other kids without having stuff to share with their friends. This is when it starts. Yesterday, I was outside painting a nightstand in my driveway where a group of 10 kids were playing in my yard. I hear a car speeding around the corner and turn around to see a car slam on their brakes directly in front of my house. I assume this was a hostile person upset about something, so I tell the kids to go in the backyard while I figure out what this person's problem is. As I get to the end of the driveway, I see this lady telling their children, probably 5 or 6 years old, to get out and go play. I stand there confused, as I've never seen this child before. So I walk to her passenger's door and here's the conversation. Hi, I think you have the wrong address. No I don't, I'll be back around 8 or 9 to get her. It's 4pm. Um, yeah, that's cool, but I don't think this small child should be left alone for that long. Alone? You will be watching her. I won't be watching anyone. So again, wrong house. You have all the neighbourhood kids here. You can add another one. She hasn't eaten yet, so she needs lunch and dinner. I have my kids' friends here. I'm not watching them. They're here by choice with their parents' permission. I also don't feed any child until I've spoken directly with their parents and make sure I know of any allergies, as it's snacks. I don't cook meals for anyone. She attempts to drive off, so I yell, If you leave her here, you can pick her up from the police station. That comment didn't sit well with her. She threw her car into park and got out and got in my face. Are you threatening me? I can say you kidnapped her and have you thrown in jail. I pointed to the security cameras on my home. Please do, I would love that. At this point, she lifts her hand in an attempt to hit me. That didn't happen, as she looked down and seen that I was open carrying. When she sees my weapon, she quickly yells for her child to get in the car. She throws it in reverse and flies into my driveway, probably in an attempt to scare me, which it didn't, coming within inches of hitting me and in the process runs over the nightstand I was painting and breaking it while damaging her own car. You'll be getting a bill from my lawyer for damaging my car. Again, I point out my security cameras. When she leaves, I call the police and the parents of all the children that are at my house. I turn over the footage to the police and send copies to the parents to cover myself in case this parent tried to accuse me of things that weren't true. The police have since reached out saying that they had located the woman because she in fact tried to file a police report saying I held her at gunpoint and tried to kidnap her daughter. Apparently she thought my cameras were just for show. She unfortunately waited a bit too long to file a fake report since I already made a report and turned over the footage to the police by the time she had called. She got in trouble for making a false report and again when her insurance company reached out to me for my insurance info, she claimed my car hit hers. She lives in my area, so I'm sure this won't be the last time I see this parent or child. I do feel bad for the kid though. She was looking so horrified the entire time this was going on. And if the parent had simply asked if her daughter could play at my house, I would have said yes and got the parent's phone number and everything would have been fine. Some parents should really not have kids. Who would even want to leave their child with a complete stranger? That was my first thought, like she just comes and just get out the car and just wants to leave them at some random person's yard. I mean, this person looked totally trustworthy as soon as they had loads of kids already playing on their yard, but still, you don't leave your kids with a complete stranger. It just does not make sense. <laughs> and then to threaten them saying that like, they're trying to kidnap the child. I don't agree with guns and stuff, but to just get EPs out of your face, it must be just such a good deterrent. <laughs> You're too young to be working out. Let my kid who is younger take your bench. Okay, so yesterday I was at the gym and I was lifting without a spotter. I am 12. I was lifting 30 pounds, not including the 10 pound bar, and EP walked in with her EK. At first, I didn't pay attention to them because it's normal for parents to bring their kids with them when they are picking up their kids from the gym. 
five minutes go by and I see EP and EK are still here and EK is trying to lift some of the dumbbells. I took a walk, I took a water break and walked over to the water fountain to refill my water bottle and when I came back I saw EK sitting on the bench press seat. I politely asked him to get off and he said that his mummy told him that he could bench press. Suddenly Ian walks over and demands to know what's happening. I tell her that her son is in my way and that kids under the age of 12 are not allowed to use workout equipment. She says that a kid is 12 and that I needed to leave because I was too young to work out anyway. At this point, I'm getting a slight temper and start to up my tone. Can you please tell your son to get off the bench so I can use it? No, he was here first. Which as you know, he obviously wasn't. Yeah, I was here first. No, you weren't. After arguing for about two more minutes, Ian finally told EK to get off the bench. I said thank you in an angry tone and went back to bench pressing. I started noticing EM whispering to EK and then EK did that stupid little grin and started to walk towards me while EM was watching him with a slight smirk. What do you want? Entitled kid in that stupid little tone. I just want to watch. Can you please get away from me? EK doesn't answer and starts to push down on the bar as bench pressing. Me not being able to lift that much weight. Help! Help! Some of the other people in the gym start running over to me and push the kid off me. Why are you abusing my kid? I'm furious. What do you mean abusing your kid? He tried to kill me. No, not you, them. And points to the kid that saved my life. Ian then looks down and sees EK and rushes over to him while he fakes a cry and shouts, you hurt my baby, I will get you all arrested for this. At this point, the supervisor who was in another room hears EM shouting and comes to see what happened. S, awesome supervisor. Mum, what is wrong? That kid just tried to kill me. Lies, that boy just tried to kill my son. Isaac, she knows my name. Is that true? No, that kid was trying to hold down the bar and kill me. Oh really? Let's look at the security cameras to see if that's true. EM started to get worried. No, that's not necessary. He's a kid and you shouldn't trust him. I don't care who is a kid and who isn't, I'm checking the cameras. She walks over to her desk and starts doing whatever teachers do to look through cameras. Ian then takes EK and runs out the gym. Today she told me that she looked and I was innocent. Oh, what the hell? They're invading gyms now. EPs are spreading like a virus. We've got to do something soon. <laughs> As always, a massive thank you to each and every one of you for watching. It really does mean the world. We're going to hopefully have some merch and stuff soon. Oh, if you do get a moment, if you did enjoy it, what would be really super helpful is if you can share on your socials, share on your Facebook, share on your Twitter. That would be amazing help. Thank you very much, guys. Take care now. Goodbye.